Hi guys, it's me, Julie Gouillard. I'm back from the United States. And what has my husband got on the bed? <sighs> okay. You know what it's like when you have a husband and they won't pick up their stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, I went shopping in the States yesterday. Um, got a pretty big haul. I've got some makeup, not a lot, some makeup and some clothes to show you and accessories and stuff like that. So I'm going to get right into that. We did some Christmas shopping. We were down um, a week before, well, it's now, what, five days before Black Friday. Um, wait, let me see. So today's Sunday. So we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days till American Thanksgiving. Go, 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 go. And then five days until Black Friday. But I mean, it's really more like four because I've noticed that, like in the commercials that I'm seeing on the TV that most places are starting their sales at midnight on um, the Thursday night. So I hope that all of my American friends are gearing up and getting into training for their Black Friday bonanza. Uh, and a small tip, I'm not exactly sure how many of my subscribers are actually Canadian. And of those Canadian subscribers, how many of them actually do a lot of cross-border shopping. But just a small tip for you, if you're planning on partaking in the um, uh, Black Friday sales, I Here's a tip that I learned last year. If you go up on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, so this Wednesday, first of all, if you stay over till Friday, so that's two days, if you're over in the States for more than 48 hours, the amount that you're allowed to bring back, like the money that you're allowed to spend when you're down there is higher, and then you're allowed to bring back like um, alcohol if you want to go buy some wine or beer, cheap beer. Sam Adams has a really nice sampler pack at the holiday season. Anyway, um, yeah, but if you go up on the Wednesday, first of all, you can stay two days and you get your, your you know, like you're allowed to bring back more. But not only that, if you go shopping, a lot of the stores actually have all their sales ready to go on um, the Wednesday before because they start so early, like on the Thursday and Thursday is a holiday. A lot of the places don't have, like, they'll put up, like, they'll actually get everything ready and start their sales on the Wednesday. So that's just a, a, a small tip for you. But I know that there's something about going out for Black Friday. Anyway, we went, and it was crazy. I thought, oh, nobody's going to be shopping because they're all going to be waiting for next weekend. I was so wrong. But it was also like being here in Ontario because every other license plate was from Ontario, and there were busloads of people down from Canada. So it was actually really super busy so um, my patience does not run very high in situations like that I, I don't like crowds and stuff like that so but I did manage to make out okay I'm gonna start with the um, cosmetics beauty stuff that I bought first off I just want to show you this cute little reusable tote that I got for 98 cents at the Burlington coat factory it's a bag that's got two purses on either like a purse on either side in different colors but what I liked about this one was it wasn't too big. It wasn't like one of those big shopping totes that take up so much room. So I was able to put my stuff and just like tuck this under my arm and it was really great. So 98 cents at Burlington Coat Factory. Anyway. Okay, so first stop was Target where I picked up some of the e.l.f. cleaning wipes. I love these so much. They're like my favorite cleansing wipe. They're only $3 for 20 so I picked up three packages. But anyway, what else did I get? I did manage, though, to find the Revlon Lip Butters. And here's the deal. Like, the Walgreens had a deal, buy one, get one 50% off, but their initial price is more expensive than Target. So I ended up spending the same amount of money just buying them regular price at Target than I would getting the buy one, get one free at Walgreens. So I picked up two. Um, they didn't have, they had, like... They didn't have some of the colors at my at the Target that I went to. And then a couple of them were just like too brown, so I eliminated those. And the other one was like a really rich berry color, that I, a plum color, which I eliminated. So I ended up getting like a, a bright pink and a light pink. And I've got lollipop and cotton candy. Now I haven't used these yet, but I have swatched them just to show you. Lollipop is a really pretty bright pink color and you can see how pigmented that is and then this one is in cotton candy so a lighter pink and I was afraid that maybe the light pink wouldn't be very pigmented but it actually isn't bad there is some color to it there like if you get up close you can see it but it's not you know translucent so I thought a bright pink and a light pink would be good so I'm good to go there 
bright pink. I can't wait to wear that fuchsia. And they're so creamy and shiny and glossy. Very excited about that. I also picked up a Maybelline Baby Lips. Kind of same idea. It's basically a tinted lip balm. And this one is in, oh my gosh, Pink Punch, number 25. And this one does have some color to it. It's kind of like the light pink that I got from the Revlon. So there, I've got my new Revlon and Maybelline lip balmy type things. I also picked up some Goody Secure Fit headbands. They've got like rubber on the inside. Biggest problem I have with headbands is I put them on and they, they kind of like, they ride up the back of my head and then they ride up, and before you know it, they're sitting on top of your head like that and they're silly. So hopefully these ones will stay put especially if I add like um, some bobby pins, but like who knew keeping a headband on your head would be so much work, but it is. It's time to dye the old hair. So I got some Nutrice color cream in number 51, medium ash brown, that's my color. It was on sale at Target for $5. Um, went to the Dollar Tree and on the way out, I saw that they had a Dollar General too and we totally missed it, but it was too late to go there. Uh, anyway, I picked up two LA Colors nail polishes. I love these nail polishes. Uh, I got one in Paradise Pink, which is a nice kind of frosty fuchsia color, so it'll be good for the holiday season. And I also picked up Magnetic Force, which is kind of like a shimmery coral color. Going to try that for the holidays as well. And I picked up another LA Colors little eyeshadow palette. They didn't have the ones like the, the the six color palettes that I had before, but I picked up this one in brights because I don't have anything with like some blues and grays in, so I picked that up and then there's purples on the other side. And I really like the LA Color Shadows, so I'll let you know how this palette works out compared to the other ones that I have. Just trying to keep a close eye on the time. And a couple of Christmas decorations. Where was I? We went to the Cracker Barrel, and I picked up this little Santa Claus. He's just like a styrofoam ball covered in, in um, like, velvet or velour. Really cute. I collect Santas, so he'll look cute sitting on the shelf. He's meant to hang on the tree, but I thought he would look cute sitting on the shelf with his little round belly. He's got little twigs for arms. Oh, oh, oh. And I went to Hallmark and I got the last one of the Hallmark Keepsake Countdown to Christmas digital clock. I can't show it to you because I have it downstairs. Um, I, got, I got this for my son who loves numbers and loves to count. And basically you punch in what the time is or like what the, the date is and what the time is. And it counts down the hours, the minutes, and the seconds till Christmas. And you can start it on October 1st. So I picked that up at Hallmark and it was only $20. And it's really cute. Look at Santa Claus coming out the chimney and there's the digital readout. Okay, then I stopped at Burlington Coat Factory and got some earrings to wear to my Christmas party. They've just got like rhinestones on the one side so that as you wear them, you see, and they're kind of spiky. Thought they were cute for $6. Most exciting part. So, as I was saying, um, so the, the, there's like a Target, an Old Navy, a Petco, a Michaels, a GameStop, Hala, Sally Beauty Supply, all in this one kind of mall. Like here in Canada, we call them power centers where there's just like these big box stores all in one parking lot. And we pull in where the Target is and I look, and we haven't been there, I haven't been to Watertown since, I don't know, the spring, so I haven't been in a really long time. And I pull in and there's an Ulta in the power center right beside the old navy and we pull in and i look over and i see it and i started to scream in the car and i was like ah, there's an ulta. Ah, and i was like so super excited i know crazy so i went into ulta ha, ha, ha. what did i buy and it was really freaky what happened and i'll explain to you in a sec okay so they had a lot of stuff with buy one, get one 50% off, which I love. So, um, and they had some deals for Christmas. So I didn't get a lot, but I did get a few things. The first thing, hold on. Okay. First thing I 
got was they had a display up at the front where um, they had like stocking stuffers, five for five dollars, which I thought was awesome. And sorry guys. And since my cousin is coming to spend Christmas with us, I'm going to do a Christmas stocking for her. And I don't think she watches my videos. So, um, if she does, sorry, you should see what you're getting. So I picked up five things and they weren't like stupid things. They were like actually really good things. So there was this little, um, eyeshadow, like on a little keychain, and they had different colors. And I got this one just in a pale kind of frosty pink, they, you know, little cute things like this you can put in a stocking are great. A little mirror that actually it like slides out which is great because it keeps the mirror clean to put in her purse um, I got her a little chi silk infusion for her hair so she can try that out a chocolate scented hand lotion from Ulta and I really love Ulta's line of like bath gels and, and moisturizers and stuff like that and an Ulta nail polish, like a full size Ulta nail polish. And this one is in Alter Ego, and it's kind of a really nice, kind of what is that, like metallic teal, like a dark teal. Nice. So I got her those to stuff in her stocking. I got myself a perfume. This is just a small purse size. Um, bottle of Pure Grace from Philosophy and it was only $15 and I liked it better than the roll-on because like the roll-on types because it comes in like a little spray bottle and it's very clean smelling it just smells really kind of soapy and clean and they actually say on the bottle it's the smell of clean soap and water the memory of fresh air woven into a set of crisp white cotton sheets a cold, deep breath on a snowy winter night, the best summer morning you've ever known, the one white t-shirt that feels better than all the rest. So it's just a nice, clean fragrance, and I liked it, so I got it. So that's Pure Grace. That was $15, was I said. I had to replace my EOS lip balm in Lemon Drop because I don't know where it's gone. Totally disappeared. And then they had um, buy one, get one 50% off their Palladio um, eyeliners. So I picked up one in Smoky. This is the Herbal Eyeliner. You can get these at Sally's or you can get them at Ulta. This one's in Smoky, so it's like a gray. And then I got this one in Ocean Blue. It's a really bright blue in their mechanical pencils. And I will show you those after I open them. Then I'm always a sucker at the checkout because they've got like little baskets of goodies at the checkout so I grabbed these for no other reason other than they looked cute in the container and it's just a little container of bobby pins but the bobby pins look a little bit heavy duty so I thought that they might be good for my thick hair and these were $2.99 and they're from a company called Karina and I like the little tube very cute then NYX was having a sale, and their lipsticks, some of their lipsticks were $1.99, and some of the colors that were on sale were really ugly, but I picked up this one. It's actually very pretty. This one's called Flower, and it's just a bright, shimmery pink. Show it to you. Brr, look at how the light catches that. Pretty. And I really like these lipsticks. I think they're really great. My favorite... Um, one of my favorite nude lipsticks is Creamy Nude from Essence. And the one that I picked up in the summer was kind of broken, so I picked up another one. They're only 99 cents, and it's a great color. So that's, oh, wait, no. Mm -hmm. And then thanks to Darby Girl, um, she showed a little Stila palette the other day that she's giving to her daughter for Christmas, and I had to have it. And she said it was $18, but when I looked on Sephora, it was like $39 or something. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. But then I went to the Ulta, and they have two. So there's one that is $18, and then the bigger one, which is $39. And this is it. It's called the Stila Daydream Palette. And it's 22 eyeshadows with a net weight of 13 grams. So they're all like under a gram a piece, right? Of eyeshadows. No, they're like a great, I don't know. I, my mouth is not right. But anyway, look at the size of that. It was $18. And if you get it at Sephora in Canada, the <clears throat> suggested real pr retail price is only $24. It's, I hate that, but seeing as we're at par, 
but whatever. Okay, I'm not going to get into that. <clears throat> but $18 for all these Stila eyeshadows, and it's so pretty just to have it sitting in your drawer. So in the center, steel, that's Stila Kitten. I'll just swatch a couple of them. So that Stila Kitten is a beautiful, look at how pigmented that is. Really nice kind of champagne-y color. And let me go after, and they've got like kind of, like there's some neutrals and more plummy tones over here and then the cooler tones over here. Let me swatch this green because it looks so great. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at how pigmented that is. Like, I'm barely touching these. But I thought that this was an excellent way to try out... Oh, look at that one green. Oh my gosh, I love that. Uh, I thought this was an awesome way to try out some steel of shadows. Like, they're not all full sizes, obviously, and I'm sure the ones that I'm going to use more often are the, like, the really little ones. It's a great way to get you interested in buying the bigger size, but... I thought for $18, and look at how pretty it is. I think that's like the score of the holiday season. I think anybody on your Christmas list that likes makeup would love that. And like I said, the small one is it was $18, and then the, there's a bigger one that was like twice the size of this. So shh, can you imagine how big that would be? But yeah, awesome. Then... I just gave them my name and address for their like beauty insiders club card or whatever and they gave me a free gift because it's a new store and this is where it gets funny so the first thing I got was a little black brown automatic eyeliner from the Ulta brand so I'll let you know how that goes and it wasn't just I thought oh, okay free gift is gonna be cheesy samples right well, they are sample sizes, but wait till you see what I got. Then there's the Passion Berry Vanilla Body Lotion, which I love. Like I said, I love their, their uh, body stuff, but I will probably put that into like my cousin's stocking or something, or maybe I'll give it to my husband to put in my stocking. It's small enough to keep like at your desk at work or whatever. Then everybody's been talking about the It's a 10 um, leave-in hair treatment, and I wanted to, I was looking at it when I was in the Ulta, because I was going to buy it, but it was $20 for a bottle, and I thought, oh, I don't want to pay $20 for something that might not work. Well, they gave me a sample, like, this was in my bag. I didn't ask for it or, you know, anything. It was inside my bag, so it's the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I'll let you know how that works. I've heard really great things about that on here. People have said that you can get it at Sally's, but I can't get it at my Sally's, so I don't know. And then the other thing was I watched Lisa Eldridge's um, video on... She's done two videos in the last week on under eye problems like circles and like dark circles and then puffiness. And to alleviate dark circles, she recommended vitamin C. So I was looking for an eye cream that came, that had vitamin C in it, but I couldn't really find anything. So I was going to look at, at the stores in my town today. Well, when you know, they gave me a sample of uh, the Murad Essential C eye cream. Again, didn't ask for it. Now, this is just a small sample size, but considering how much you use underneath your eye, I think this will last me for a while. So that was, um, yeah, so I'm so excited that there's now a Sephora, or not a Sephora, sorry, there's an Ulta. Oh, that would be a dream. So if Sephora came to Kingston and now there's an Ulta in Watertown, oh my God, so happy. So that's my beauty stuff. I've been babbling for long enough. I will come back and do part two with all the fashion that I got. So, well, fashion clothes that I got. So I'll see you soon. Bye guys.